wonderful friend we have in Jesus. God is not a tyrant, nor has he ever been a tyrant ever in history. I'm gonna go knock upon this sinner's door with my Bible in my hand and my close-minded mentality. Open her up, sinner! Sinner! Come on! I know there's a sinner in there using their mind and not the Bible. Come on! Hi there, sinner! Have you heard the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ? Yeah, and it fucking sucks. Well, I think I can change your mind if you allow me inside your home long enough to tell you about our tyrant, I mean our God, Jehovah. Well, if this were real life, it would really get in the way of me snorting meth and watching Pornhub for the next 14 hours, but since it's a shitty little comedy video, let's progress the story. Fuck it. Come inside. Let's read the goddamn fucking Bible, Torah. Come on. Thanks! And, uh, by the way, uh, it's those big-nosed, money-hungry Jews who read the Torah, not us good, God-fearing Christians. So, might want to do your research next time, alright? <laughs> Welcome to where I live. Make yourself comfortable, God boy. Oh, me God! This place is just filled with just the devil and just Satan! It's filled with evil! Have a seat. Thanks, sinner. God specifically told me to come to this house because there was a sinner here who needed uh, his uh, a saving. Oh uh, yeah, God told you to specifically come here to this house specifically. What did he say specifically to you to come to this house specifically? He just said specifically to come to this house because there was a sinner who lived in this house who was in desperate need of his saving. I mean, was it a feeling to come here? Or was it just like a voice that told you to come here? It's just like a voice. Like a deep, booming God voice. Hmm... Well, why doesn't God use that same booming God voice to tell little starving African kids where there's a food source so they don't starve to death that day? Or, like, just use it to tell a scientist what the cure for cancer is? <laughs> Jehovah works in the most mysterious ways, doesn't he? Oh, you mean the mysterious ways where a little kid, a little small kid, gets diagnosed with leukemia? And then their parents have to come to them and say, uh, Hey, little Johnny or Susie, you're going to die in six months. And then that little kid has to realize his or her own mortality at age eight. Those mysterious ways. Can I pray for you, sinner? Can I please pray for your darkened, corrupt soul? Please allow me to pray for you. Yes, God boy. Please pray for me. I live in such darkness and corruption and sin. I have this Ozzy Osbourne CD. And I have this... I have this Bon Jovi CD. Please pray the darkness away. <laughs> oh God! Break down thou hand upon the cranium of this sinner boy, this hot young sinner boy, and bless thee and take all thou which.
which is evil from thine hands! <sighs> And by the power vested in me by Katy Perry, Cardi B, and all the Disney Channel pop stars, uh, vanquish this demon foe that has crawled inside this boy. Vanquish them now, God! <laughs> After I had my nice Christian subservient wife cook me that nice Taco Del Grande dinner the other night and I have sprayed the toilet bowl with all that chocolate mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, dude. Get the fuck out of my house. Gladly. Fuck out of my way! Fuck off! You fuck off, dick sucker! Goddamn Jehovah's fucking witnesses. Fucking assholes.